because it can be very lonely and depressing in direct provision, especially back then when we came, you were not allowed to study, to work, and you were on 1910 a week. It could be frustrating, especially I, I had worked before coming here and I was used to having things go a certain way. But you know why it did not dissuade me? I started from zero and zero to hero. <laughs> 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 Coincidentally, that's the name of your EP. Oh, that's Zip, the name zero, of my yeah. EP. Yeah, zero to you hero. know, yeah, yeah. Zero to Hero. So yeah. what was the zero point then? When were you at your lowest? Um, the first thing that happened, I came in, I had all these diplomas and certificates I brought from home, and I wanted to uh, maybe use it to get work or something to use it, and then they were not accepted. The Irish level of education, the QQI did not recognise it. So I really saw that everything I had brought in here was worth nothing nothing yes not only education and lots of culture and everything so i had to adjust my mind and the way i see things to be able to cope and survive here mm. so it was really so it meant drop everything you know and start afresh and how did the community in sligo oh, receive you boy it's a gem in this country y'all don't know <laughs> sligo is fabulous the people are amazing <laughs> i'm telling you the community, right? We're very lucky. We see what happens with direct provision in other cities around the country. But anybody coming from Sligo won't tell you that because the community there is amazing. The support has been unreal for me particularly. Because, mm. oh, yeah.